Hi, I'm Vera Chan from PagerDuty. PagerDuty is an AWS Advanced Technology Partner. I'm here to give you an overview of how the PagerDuty AWS Control Tower integration works and share an example of the integration workflow. Managing and operating large-scale applications and workloads in the cloud require central governance, control, and visibility. You might already today be or will be leveraging AWS Control Tower to configure a secure baseline and guardrails to provide ongoing governance of your multi-account cloud and hybrid cloud infrastructure. Customers today also benefit from extending AWS Control Tower guardrail notifications to incident management platforms and compliance alerting processes, including the auto remediation of compliance issues, to ensure their systems are operating smoothly and to their standards. PagerDuty empowers and connects your technology stack, people, culture, and skills, as well as operational processes as they evolve and supports a DevOps-oriented approach a full service ownership where teams must have complete ownership over every aspect of the services they support from design and development to production operation. Teams and people are held more accountable and benefit from full context when incidents occur as incidents are routed to the right owners in seconds for quicker resolution times and less impact to end users. AWS uses Amazon Simple Notification Service Amazon SNS to send compliance notifications to the email address of an audit account. Viewing these alerts helps you inspect the compliance events timeline and details about resources that are out of compliance. You can acknowledge a manual SNS subscription for the AWS Control Tower aggregate security notifications topic and one per supported region. AWS Config monitors member accounts so you can continuously audit and assess the compliance of your AWS configurations and aggregates the compliance status with the audit account. You then deploy an AWS CloudFormation stack set in the AWS Control Tower management account. The stack set configures PagerDuty's Amazon SNS subscription within the AWS Control Tower aggregate security notifications topic as an HTTPS endpoint in the audit account. Then you can configure PagerDuty rule sets to trigger AWS Control Tower guardrail notifications as incidents. Now I would like to share with you a quick integration workflow demo that shows how PagerDuty and AWS Control Tower help organizations with multiple AWS accounts respond to incidents in real time to mitigate business impacting compliance issues, as well as reduce risk and time to resolution. Migrating to the cloud is difficult and customers need help with it. Cloud migration and managing hybrid cloud infrastructure is a complicated journey and many organizations are struggling. PagerDuty helps teams manage the complex transition from siloed and centralized approaches to multiple distributed teams and hybrid infrastructure. It empowers you to drive the people, technology, and operational process changes necessary to maintain business continuity and help make sure your cloud migration journey is painless and fast, and most importantly, without customer impact. If you have multiple AWS accounts in your organization, you're probably using AWS Control Tower to secure a baseline and guardrails for better ongoing governance over those accounts. PagerDuty extends AWS Control Tower guardrail notifications to its own digital operations management platform and compliance alerting processes to ensure an organization's systems are operating smoothly 24-7. Imagine I'm a member of a DevOps team who is responsible for keeping our website's product search capabilities up and running 24-7 on hybrid infrastructure. I'm on call today and on the go. Suddenly, I receive a push notification about a P2 issue. Basic information about the issue appears at the top. I can see the creation date, who the issue is assigned to, and the impacted technical service. There's a lot of enriched information that helps me better understand the incident and the context around it. PagerDuty pulls in contextual information from AWS and can also pull in information from other sources, monitoring tools, ticketing systems, and more. Additional diagnostic data or links to runbooks that contain information about people who might have resolved a past incident and recommendations on how to best solve an incident could appear here as well. 
I see that this issue is telling me that SSH on a security group is now non-compliant. AWS Control Tower automatically triggered the creation of this event in PagerDuty based on a guardrail that is enabled to detect and notify someone through PagerDuty when a configuration in AWS is out of compliance. You'll notice that this incident has grouped alerts together. This is one incident, but you can see these are actually multiple grouped open alerts. PagerDuty merged these alerts using our machine learning AI algorithm that helps reduce noise, manage false positives, and organize relevant alert data into a single view. First, I quickly acknowledge the incident to inform everyone that I am actively working on the issue and so everyone knows who to contact if there are any questions. Running a P2 response play allows me to focus on resolving the issue rather than coordinating a response. Additional responders are now engaged to help me and stakeholders are automatically updated and notified with only the information they need. A Zoom meeting that I can join with just one touch has been automatically created as a result of running the P2 response play. Status updates will be recorded here in this tab. Other members in the organization have been added as stakeholders and a notification has been sent to them. Custom incident actions allow me to run actions outside of PagerDuty. I can connect PagerDuty to external tools through webhooks and perform actions at the click of a button to run diagnostics, scripts, reboot a server, expand a database, revert to a previous code deploy, and limitless other workflows and possibilities. There are times when you might need to run diagnostics via a webhook to run deck, which is an automation platform that reduces the duration of incidents and minimizes escalation of issues to others. With other types of issues that I've encountered on call, I've executed runbooks here. However, I actually think I'm going to wait this one out just in case someone accidentally made a change. If that person quickly reverts the changes, the guardrail and control tower will discover that the SSH is in compliance again, which will automatically resolve the issue in PagerDuty. You can easily add ad hoc status updates to keep your stakeholders informed of only the details they need to know. The business status dashboard keeps thousands of subscribed stakeholders from team leads to executive leadership across the organization informed and aware of customer or revenue impacting outages. They can view the historical and active real-time state of key business services and their associated technical services that support them. PagerDuty facilitates a full service ownership operational model where development and operation teams have complete ownership over every aspect of the services they support from design and development to production operations and the eventual sunsetting of their software. While there's a lot more that I can do on the mobile app, let me see what else I can do via the web app. The visibility console allows me to see current system status and service health, active incidents, who is working on ongoing issues, and more. It's all in one place to help me stay aligned and assess the greater impact of issues to make better real-time decisions. There are built-in modules here, and I can add my own custom URLs or markup to include critical information and process to help drive down resolution times. PagerDuty incorporates AIOps machine learning algorithms and automation to help save time, improve team health, and eliminate unnecessary interruptions. PagerDuty's machine learning can automatically group incidents together and incorporate how humans interact with PagerDuty as it dynamically learns from their actions and adapts over time. Based on those actions, PagerDuty improves at deciding when to merge and when not to merge alerts. This automation allows you to view accurately grouped alerts without having to set up complex rules, which will reduce your setup and maintenance costs. I can see who was involved in a past similar issue and dig deeper to discover what remediative steps were taken. I can understand the breadth and scope of impact through related incidents that help me see other issues across other services and teams that may be related to this one. In addition, PagerDuty's event rules give you the flexibility and control needed to customize how your events and alerts are processed. You can also use rules either at the service or global level to decide when to suppress, group, 
or categorize certain incidents. Collaboration workflows are automated, such as creating a war room or pushing relevant information to other tools and sources, such as Slack or Microsoft Teams for wider communication. While trying to investigate the root cause, it's also really helpful for me to see recent code or infrastructure change information right within my reach right here. Seeing change events from GitHub, Puppet, BuildKite, and more can help me and my team safely iterate and ship faster while operating in the cloud or hybrid cloud. Once the security group configuration is reverted in AWS, this issue will automatically close out and resolve itself. As seen before in the mobile app, here's the web version of the business status dashboard that helps keep subscribers and stakeholders aligned with the information that they need. Continuing shortly after the resolution of the major incident, the learning process is critical for driving continuous improvement. Timeline activity can automatically be incorporated into a postmortem, making the incident review process highly automated. You can combine what happened during the incident related information from other incidents, and collaboration activity from your chat ops tool into a single postmortem report to gain a chronological understanding of everything that happened during an outage. In addition to learning from specific incidents, your team needs to better understand how they're tracking over time to continually improve the performance of your digital operations. For instance, why did that incident occur? And how can you avoid similar incidents in the future? To facilitate that, PagerDuty Analytics provides prescriptive insights and advanced impact metrics to foster a culture of continuous learning. Organizations need to sort through a lot of information to extract actionable insights like how to improve their operations or the health of their infrastructure. Operational reviews offer impactful, actionable metrics within three different scorecards targeting different areas of your organization. Team handoff, service performance, and business performance scorecards. Additionally, our peer and industry benchmarking capabilities at the top here provide suggested actions you can take to improve your team's performance and the health of your services by spotlighting key areas for improvement while also giving recommendations. Prescriptive recommendations surfaced by machine learning require no training and enable you to further improve operational maturity drive operational efficiency, and reduce costs. Take action on recommendations and enable pause notifications to allow a service or application to self-heal, or intelligent alert grouping to reduce noise and understand the quantitative and qualitative benefits of making changes that improve health across your services and teams. Our analytics are available anywhere. Our data is embedded and accessible within Slack, making it easy for you to start incorporating analytics into your daily conversations. Our rich analytics data set is open to our customers to query via our analytics API, where you can access aggregated incident, service, and team data, as well as the raw data for individual or multiple incidents. That concludes the incident workflow demo of the PagerDuty AWS Control Tower integration. We hope you'll check out a free trial today to let PagerDuty help your teams navigate the challenges of cloud and hybrid cloud environments and maintain business conti continuity while you add the scalability, flexibility, and value of the AWS cloud. The journey of migrating to the cloud is not easy, but PagerDuty and AWS together help you drive faster problem resolution to operate more smoothly and deliver better experiences to your customers. With PagerDuty fully supporting the you build it, you own it, full service ownership model, teams can collaborate more effectively and resolve issues faster. Having the ability to quickly spin up AWS instances to build new apps and services means making changes to your IT ops workflows. When handling issues that arise during your cloud migration process and across multiple AWS accounts, Issues can be addressed in real time by the right people who are delivered the right context they need to resolve issues faster. PagerDuty has made it easy to learn more about and get started with your cloud migration journey. If you're new to PagerDuty, you can sign up for a free trial and learn more about how we help teams migrate to the cloud, adopt a full service ownership model, and integrate with key AWS services faster. 
If you're an existing PagerDuty customer using AWS Control Tower, you can get started with our integration for AWS Control Tower here or connect with our support team to learn more. Thank you for joining us. The journey of migrating to the cloud is not easy, but PagerDuty and AWS together help you drive faster problem resolution to operate more smoothly and deliver better experiences to your customers. With PagerDuty fully supporting the you build it, you own it full service ownership model, teams can collaborate more effectively and resolve issues faster. Having the ability to quickly spin up AWS instances to build new apps and services means making changes to your IT ops workflows. When handling issues that arise during your cloud migration process and across multiple AWS accounts, issues can be addressed in real time by the right people who are delivered the right context they need to resolve issues faster. PagerDuty has made it easy to learn more about and get started with your cloud migration journey. If you're new to PagerDuty, you can sign up for a free trial and learn more about how we help teams migrate to the cloud, adopt a full service ownership model, and integrate with key AWS services faster. If you're an existing PagerDuty customer using AWS Control Tower, you can get started with our integration for AWS Control Tower here or connect with our support team to learn more. Thank you for joining us.